Good evening, and welcome to The Journey Home. My name is Marcus Grodi, your host for this program, and this is a special edition of The Journey Home. We're here in Oslo, Norway, actually outside of Oslo, uh, a suburb called Lunden, and we're in the Lunden uh, Monastery, the Dominican Sisters, dedicated to Our Lady of the Annunciation. And we're here filming these wonderful episodes of Journey of Faith, coming home to the Catholic Church. Our guest for this evening is Anna Margaret Nielsen. Anna Margaret, welcome to the Journey Home. Thank it's you. a great pleasure to meet you and to have you on this program. Now, you're from a, a place in Norway, farther north, is that correct? In, in the south, but up in the mountain. Yes. Telemark, West Telemark is the name of the place. And you're the first of our guests that's come in traditional dress. Yes. <laughs> so thank you for that. Later I want to ask you about your dress, okay. but it's wonderful because it, uh, we often see in pictures of Norway the feature of the traditional dress. So it's great for you to do that for us. Thank you very much. On this program, we invite our guests to talk about their journey of faith and how God has brought them home to the church. So I'd like to invite you to take a step backwards and begin at the beginning and let us know your spiritual background. Please, Anna Yes, I'm not uh, born Catholic, uh, but when I was 28, 10 years ago, mm -hmm. uh, I was dragged to the church <laughs> in a way. <laughs> so I found out, uh, or God found out for me, that uh, I had to decide what I wanted to do with my life, if I wanted to believe in him or not. And uh, so he sent me to the sisters, the Clear sisters in Larvik. Mm -hmm. I went to them and talked with them. Mm -hmm. And uh, I said, I believe in God and Jesus. Uh, I have a little problem with the Holy Spirit. <laughs> 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 but uh, they said to me, come to Mass on Sunday and see how you like it. And uh, that's what I did. Mm -hmm. And since then, I have come every Sunday to uh, the Catholic <laughs> Church. <laughs> now, when yes. you, were, you were brought up Lutheran, I presume. Yes, yes. And now, you said the southern part of Norway, Telemark is, I mean, it's farther north than Oslo, is that true? Or? No, it's more south. Is it? Okay. Yeah, but right. it's up in the mountain. In, ah, yeah. okay. Did you receive a, a, you know, good training as a Lutheran? Had, was it a part of your life? Yes. When I was a child, uh, I believed in, in God. Uh, and uh, my grandmother was a Christian, mm -hmm. and she read in the Bible every day. And I went to on uh, Sunday school every Sunday. Uh, and uh, I was regularly, I was praying mm -hmm. every evening, right. and for my family, my friends, and. Uh, so your faith was a part of your life. Yeah until I was 12 years old. Oh, and what happened then? Then uh, uh, I had some bad experience with uh, some, uh, how to say, charismatic uh, Christians. Mm. Oh, right. <laughs> and uh, I felt that uh, if this was the way to believe, uh, or if it was to be a Christian would be like this, I didn't want to be a Christian anymore. Mm. So I said to God, okay, I don't want to believe in you anymore, but I will not start to swear. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, I'm going this far, but not this far, but I'm just going that far. All right. All right. So at that point, after age 12, um, uh, prayer, your belief was kind of pushed out of your life? Yes. But at the same time, I liked the Psalms. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but I was uh, selecting out. Uh, uh, the psalms that had God inside was okay to sing, but uh, if Jesus was named in the psalms, I didn't want to sing them, mm. because God was okay. <laughs> oh, you mean the hymns? Yeah, the hymns. Yeah, not the, the psalms. Uh, the, the not hymns. from the Bible. The hymns. Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah, from the from the church. So you backed away from Jesus. Yes. Because did you associate Jesus with this charismatic kind of wild part of expression? Yeah. You if God. Uh, there are gods in all the religions in the world, so mm -hmm. for me it was easy to say, to say that I believe in God, but it was not easy to say I believe in Jesus because I didn't believe in him I see. at that time. Yeah, I, It sounds like you were uh, kind of joining the wider fellowship of people in the world who believed in God, yeah, but yes. not Christian. No. 
All right. So did that affect then your choices that you were making as a young adult? Yes. Like career? I mean, were you thinking, were you choosing your career or discerning your studies without any guidance yes. by Jesus? Yes. Right? Mm. Uh, I think you told me you were thinking of acting. Had that started earlier in your life? Yes, I've been acting um, since I was a child and singing also. But uh, in uh, 2000, mm -hmm. then I had, uh, I had been a Catholic for two years. Uh, I went on a pilgrim walk from Le Puy in France to Santiago de Compostela in Spain. How long is that? 150 kilometers. Wow. Yes, so it took two months uh, to walk. That's quite a commitment. Yeah, <laughs> to the 1,500 kilometers, I'm wow. sorry. It's, yes, uh, yeah. that's a long way. Yeah. Did you and do that with a group of people? No, yes. I went alone. Uh, oh. In the beginning, one friend of mine, she went with me, but uh, the rest I walked alone. And uh, I did it for, for me, but also for my family and for my friends. Mm -hmm. And I wanted, uh, I hoped that God could help me to find out what I should do when I <laughs> grow up. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the main reason, really, mm -hmm. to find out what to do with my life. And uh, after the walk, I worked in a prison to, as a, to take care of the prisoners, mm -hmm. yeah, as a guard, yeah. Mm -hmm. For as one, a guard? Yes. You were a guard? Yeah. I can't picture you a guard. <laughs> <laughs> For one and a half year, because I thought maybe that's what I'm going to do, that mm -hmm. is uh, the call <laughs> for my life, yeah. But uh, at the prison, we had this... Uh, um, um, how, uh, cabaret together with the prisoners, yes. six uh, prisoners and mm -hmm. six uh, uh, guards yes. together. Mm -hmm. And uh, then when we had this, I found this is what I want to do. <laughs> <laughs> so then I went, I uh, tried, I supplied for the school and uh, mm -hmm. started to go to the acting school acting. for three years. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> and when you back up a little bit more though, because I didn't realize I was jumping ahead a little bit when you 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 came to the church, to the faith, uh, by getting back in contact with some some sisters, right? Is yes. that you said there? Um, did talk a bit about that journey because you had rejected Jesus, mm. the Holy Spirit, yeah. and God. Talk about your reconversion to Jesus. Yes. How did that happen? Well, it was uh, spring. It was just before the Eastern. <clears throat> and uh, oh, this is. <laughs> That's right. uh, it was the spring in the springtime, and I had a conversation with my mother that uh, is a believer, and um, also my younger brother mm -hmm. believes in God. And um, she said to me, maybe you should uh, decide you don't have uh, what to do. You don't have to, to look so far away, she said. And uh, then I felt like I should go to the sisters in Larvik and talk with them. Mm -hmm. uh, because my brother had already been there and he told, had told me about them. And, um, he had already come into the Catholic Church himself? No, but he wanted to uh, be ah, a Catholic right. at that time. And uh, I think he had started, uh, because he lived in Oslo at that time, I lived in Ludwig, and he had started to take, uh, to, to go to the priest and, you know, for, mm. for conversion, mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, then I, that's... That's why I went because of my mother. She said, "She said uh, maybe you should uh, decide." And uh, so I think that was the uh, the main reason. And but I was in my life. I was very happy. Everything was nice. I, I had had uh, some problems before, but it was over, and I felt good and strong. And uh, and then I was thinking, but is this all? <laughs> Everything was perfect, but then I still wanted more. And then 
then you the, were invited to the, the sister. church. Yeah. So I'm assuming that during that time you had not been going to Lutheran church and none of that. No, only for you know oh, weddings. Christmas and, or Easter yeah, or maybe yeah. something a wedding or, yeah. or a funeral. So you, was there anything particular that the sisters said to you that not, awakened your heart? Not at that day, but at the mass. The, uh, some mm -hmm. days after, it was terrible for me because every word uh, the priest said was needles in my heart. And I started to cry mm -hmm. and I cried and I cried and I didn't have a handkerchief. <laughs> so, you know, it, it was a really a big mess. And I knew if I go out now, I will never go inside because it's too painful. Mm -hmm. So then I had to pray to Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so I asked him to help me. And then the woman, the lady beside me, gave me a handkerchief. <laughs> there you go. So You had to talk to Jesus first. Yeah. Then she would. Otherwise, she would have given it to you earlier. But now you get to talk to Jesus yeah. first. So that's, uh, that's what it was. It. Yeah. And then for a whole year, I, it was uh, very strong the first year. And I, I think I cried almost every Sunday at church. <laughs> But it was like a healing process, I think. Mm. So mm. I needed to do it. <laughs> yeah. Did you uh, did you think about returning to your Lutheran tradition? No, because um, the Lutheran Church in Norway has split up in a way. I mm. I feel it like that mm. because uh, every priest in different church preach different, mm -hmm. and. Uh, they decide different how they will have their mass and you know right. it's so for me um, I, I didn't trust them really because they have so many meanings and so many different meanings. So. One of the guests that we had so far yeah. when he, be, he talked about becoming Catholic he said one of the biggest differences in the Catholic Church you have one Pope yes. in the Lutheran Church every church had its Pope. Yes. You know like you said different mm. opinions different mm arguments sometimes, yes. uh, even sometimes breaking away from one another and, mm -hmm. and all of that. So you experienced that yourself. Did Now, I'm assuming music was always an important part of your, yes. your life. Was yes. that also a part of your journey of faith? Yes. Um, I, I, I have always uh, liked the, the hymns. Mm -hmm. The ones about God. Yeah, said that, yeah. with God inside. But the, also the other, with its beautiful uh, tone, notes. Yes. Or, yeah. yeah, the tunes. I, I, the the tunes, yeah. yes. Yeah. I like them so much. And, and uh, so it, it was good for me to, to, to sing this with the, all of my heart. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, to yes. really feel them. I even made a hymn many years ago when I didn't believe, but I couldn't find the right words on it. I was trying so many times. To compose, yeah, to write, oh yes. To put the words mm -hmm. on, on the hymn. And, uh, but when after, after I converted to the Catholic Church, then the words came mm. like this, and, and it, it, <laughs> I, it was a nice hymn. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did your mother and brother rejoice when you came home? Yes, very much. And my mother, when I went uh, that, that Eastern, mm -hmm. she, uh, when I, I said to her, yes, I will go to the sisters, she woke up, I think, for one month every morning with the uh, hallelujah songs in her heart. She was singing <laughs> when she woke up. She was so very happy. Yes. Now tell us about what you do now, because now the music... <laughs> especially as a part of your faith, is very much a part of your life. Yes. I am now educated as an actor and also a singer. Mm -hmm. And I studied one year with folk music. So uh, I made a, a concert uh, with the different uh, hymns uh, about the Virgin Mary mm -hmm. from mi the Middle Age until today. So it's old uh, hymns and, or, yeah, old hymns oh, yeah. and new. It's a mix. And I also uh, uh, asked one friend, the uh, organist Halvar Brattvoll, if he wanted to, if he could play together with me. And he said yes. So we went on tour in Norway with this concert. 
How has that been received by the Norwegians? The, uh, very uh, good, re but we had it in uh, Protestant churches and mm -hmm. also in Catholic, in uh -huh. both. Uh -huh. So uh, it was a very good experience. Uh, it was not uh, a lot of people that came to yeah. listen, but the people that came said it, they liked it. Yeah. So. Okay. <laughs> so but I it's touching it's... into their heritage, right? It's touching their yeah. history. Yes. And uh, I do know that in many ways, there are many Lutherans that continued Catholic beliefs as well as recognition of the saints mm. and Mary. Mm. So this is reminding them of yes. their heritage, right? Yes. And you're saying that it's, you, it's not just new hymns about Mary, but old. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now the place you come from yes. in Norway mm -hmm. is known for its folk songs, isn't that yes. true? And uh, uh, I also went to visit uh, one old man at that uh, place. And he was so happy that uh, we should made, uh, make this concert about the Virgin Mary. He is a Protestant, but he loves her so yeah. much. And uh, there are legend songs about her even too, you know. Sure. So, so um, we had one legend songs about her also in the concert, yeah. Can you tell us about the, your, your dress? Yes, it's from uh, West Telemark. Um, my parents uh, started to collect for this dress when I was nine years old. And I had it uh, in my confirmation when I was uh, 15. <laughs> so uh, it's, this is typical for West Telemark with this uh, up mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. and this one and also this uh, bro bro brodery. I don't yeah, know embroidery, yes. yes. And also the gold and the silver is from this uh, particular place. If you go ve uh, west or east or north, yeah. they have other uh, other styles, okay. other silvers, other broderies, and yeah. Now when would you normally wear this now? Are there times of the year? This is uh, the 17th of May, oh, yeah? the national day. Mm -hmm. It's a typical uh, day to have it. And also in weddings, in... Um, in uh, baptisms, bap yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, confirmations, yeah, at uh, and f you know special mm -hmm. days. All right. Yes. I mean that's it is wonderful to appreciate that part about our country. We don't we do that sometimes in the states, but I've yes. I've seen that particularly of, of the Norway and Sweden both. Yes. But of the of the traditional dress. Thank you very much for sharing your journey with us, Anna Mar Margaret. In a moment. Yeah. Uh, the audience is going to hear one of your songs. Yes. You're going to do a concert for us in the church, but we're going to let the Journey Home audience hear one of those songs in a moment as it expresses your return to faith, but also your love for Our Lady Mary. Yes. So, so thank you very much thank for you. joining us on the Journey Home. God bless you. Peace. 
Mine synder de är som sand i strand. Man får de som sol i strime. Gud löser mig nu av syndens band. Oh, oh, oh. 
Alleluia, Alleluia. Lova, lova, line, lando su la chine, over top, over tre, over bre. Se vite sne po jungfru Marias kine lova lova line Alleluia. Sjene og sjene Over det og over med Over folk og over fe Over åker og over eng Over jungfru Marie i seng Og over alle som bor på jorden Halleluja Som ingen stahelm visst 
finna kan. O son min, du kjære Jesus min, hva var du den heilage tysdag din? Om tysdag er jeg profet og spår, går himmel og jord, deg under går. Å sånn min, du kjære Jesus min, hva var du den heilage onsdag din? Om onsdag er geringt og lite gjeld. For tretti sylvepengar var et eksel. Sånn min, du kjære Jesus min, hva var du den heilage torsdag din? Om torsdag er jeg på natt hver bor, ei doff for lang for den heile jord. Å sånn min, du kjære Jesus min, hva var du den heilage fredag din? Å Så kjær for meg, å gi lang fredag, var et løgnt for deg. Å sånn min, du kjære Jesus min, hva var du den heilag? Laurdag din Om laurdag Eg Eit kveit Kor nær Som Atter sitt Liv I jord I far Av Maristella, havsønstjernesjønn, det i matter Alma, moder for Guds sønn, at kvesen før vi hyr gå, jungfru du ble mor, Felix Kjeli Porta, sal i den som tror. Som en siljord av ø, du ble valgt av Gud. Gabriel i såre, du fikk himmelbud. Funda nå sin pache, fred til oss er sendt. Mot hans heven og menn, eva navne vent. Solve vinkler eis, syndens bånd er brut. Profer lo me ceci, 
kyss, mörka tiden slut. Mala nostra pele, tappt har satan sär. Båna kom ta påske, vi välsignet är. Monstra tehes matrem, moder åpen bar. Zoomat per te preches, oss in till sig tar. Qui pro nobis natus, Fader songle sen. Tu lite set us, Hörer moders bön. Virgo singularis, Jungfru valgt av Gud. Inter omnes mitis, mille himmel brud. Nos kulpis solutos, frelseren er stor. Mites faket kastos, stjerne søster mor. Vitam presta puram, renhetskilde klar. Iter para totum, gledes bud du bar. Utvidente sesum, når vi Herren ser. Semper kolle temor, gledes vi en mer. Sitt laus deo patri, fader lovet vær. Spiti tui sancto, hellig hånden bli. Sumo Christo Decus, sønnen har du kjær. Tribus honor unos, et til eviti. And thank you for joining us on this special episode of The Journey Home. We hope that this has been an encouragement to you. Appreciate our own faith that sometimes we take for granted. But thank you very much. God bless you. See you again.